All right, now this is uh, one example, example one uh, on the product rule that we just discussed. Uh, as we can see, it is not a very simple one. Um, you can expect to be pretty tedious here. Okay, so uh, let us call this term this and let's call this term that. Okay, of course, uh, we have to be sensitive enough to realize that uh, the A here and uh, the A here as well as the B here, uh, these are all constant values. Okay, it's as good as another number like 2 or 3, you can imagine that it's just a constant. Okay, so before we do any differentiation, it will be a wonderful idea that uh, we actually simplify this into the index form, okay, which means the power form. Rather than seeing the radical form, which is the square root form, uh, we write it, write it as um, power half. Okay, and uh, this second term, oops, Okay, and this second term will be ax plus b um, entire thing q. Okay, so here we go. We are ready to differentiate using our product rule. Alright, so what happens here is uh, we're going to keep one, differentiate the other, and plus to keep the other, differentiate this one, right? The this and the that. Okay, now, and as you may notice in product rule, it doesn't really matter which one you keep first or which one you differentiate first because um, it is a plus. Okay, so generally it's up to personal preference. So for me, uh, I like to just keep the first one I see. Okay, so I keep this. Okay, keep this first term and I differentiate that. Okay, which is the back term, right? So I bring down the three. This is a, co uh, a chain rule. Okay, a chain rule, right? So I have a square. Uh, the power cube becomes a power two now. And I have to differentiate the inside, which will give me an additional um, A. Okay, an extra a here. Okay, there you go. This is the this is the derivative, the differentiate of this um, back term, right? This is the front term and the back term. So this and that term. Okay. So plus now I keep the first one. Now I have to keep the second one, right? So I'll keep this. Uh, no, I'll keep that now. Keep that. Okay, and differentiate this. Okay, differentiating this is going to be a little bit more tedious, as you can imagine, because this is power half. So I'll draw a big bracket. Okay, and I bring down a half and copy the same, exactly the same thing, 2a square and then plus 2x. Okay, the entire thing now will be powered to the power of negative half, right? Because half minus 1 gives me a negative half. And uh, because of chain rule, I got to differentiate the inside. Okay, so I'll get uh, this. This is where you got to be a bit more careful because um, this a square seems to be you know making things a little bit more looking more complicated than they actually are so this 2a square is simply a constant pretend that it's like a number 5 so what do we do when we when we differentiate we bring down the 2 and multiply by this 5 isn't it so we actually ended up with 4 a square x okay and uh, differentiating the 2x gives me a 2 all right and there you go this is it this is your product rule in action and you're done with product rule but of course um you cannot really leave your answer this way, isn't it? So now we got to simplify and make it into a more presentable form. Okay, so uh, the three here multiplied by the a here. So obviously we have a three a. Okay, we have a three a, and uh, we have this a x plus b square, and uh, we have actually this one, uh, which is the entire thing to the power half, uh, which we can now write in the radical form. Okay, which is two uh, a square x square plus two x. Okay, here you go. This is the, the, the term here, the entire term here. All right, and uh, behind here, wow, seems to be a bit it, even more complicated. Now, I, I need you to understand, okay, that um, what we see here, whenever we have, a, let me use another color, okay, whenever we have a power half, oh, sorry, power negative, in this case, a negative half, we are actually dealing with a fraction. Okay, so what exactly is this? This is actually 1 over the square root of the 2a square x square plus 2x okay here you go this is a fraction so what uh, we, we are left with the rest will be simply ended up at the numerator here okay so of course uh, there's a half here that we can actually multiply in okay and uh, you will all be reduced to become 2a square plus 1 okay not forgetting we have one more term here uh, which is our ax plus b, the entire thing cube, the entire thing over the denominator of what we discussed earlier on, the 2a square, x square plus 2x. Okay, and uh, well, generally, this should be complicated enough and simplified enough at the same time um, that, uh, you know, you, you can stop here. Okay.